the yellow zone, situations that might put us in the yellow zone, and strategies to help us regulate ourselves. We all have different feelings. Remember, they change throughout the day, just like the weather. Feelings are neither good or bad. They are what is going on with you in your heart. So it is important to pay attention to them. In the yellow zone, you might feel silly or wiggly, have some loss of control. You might feel worried or frustrated. Body signals you might feel are a racing heart or even a little sweaty. You might feel like you can't sit still, like you wanna tap your foot, or you might feel like butterflies are swarming in your stomach. You might be in the yellow zone if you've been sitting too long, like working on schoolwork, reading a book, or being on your best behavior at the grocery store, or riding in a car for a long time. Strategies to help you regulate yourself are take some deep breaths or get up and move around if you can, like do some jumping jacks or high knees, go on a walk or take a hike, do some yoga and stretch or dance in place. Also, self-talk can be really helpful, like I can do this or I have the power. If you're really excited to do something, you might be in the yellow zone, like your first day of school, or having swim lessons, or going swimming after school, having a game like soccer or baseball, being invited to a birthday party, or having a play date might put you in the yellow zone. Or if you like to play music and you have a concert that you're gonna perform at, or if you're going on vacation, that can make you really excited. Ways to help regulate yourself are take some deep breaths. Also, be present with what you are doing in the moment. If that is reading a book, focus on the book and enjoy it. Also, remember self-talk, what you tell your brain can really help. Like, I can do this. Or you can tell yourself, I have the power to stay calm and focused. Doing something new, like the first day of school, or going to a new school, or reading a new book, or even working on a new math problem might put you in the yellow zone. Doing a presentation in front of your class for the first time might be a little scary. Or trying a new instrument, or trying something new, such as riding your bike might also put you in the yellow zone. Some ways to regulate yourself are take some deep breaths. Also, expect for it to take some time to get good. Be patient with yourself. Focus on yourself and don't compare yourself to others. We all learn at different rates. Also, self-talk can always help. Like, I can do this, just do your best, or I will get this as I practice more. If you're worried about something, that might put you in this yellow zone, like being called on in front of the class. Or if you have a sporting game, such as soccer or baseball, you might be worried about that. Also, if you like to dance or play the piano or an instrument and you have a concert, that might be a little worrisome. If you're learning to read or you're learning a new thing such as riding your bike, you might be a little worried about that. Also, if your friends are leaving you out, you might be worried about that. Or if someone's sick in your family. Ways to regulate yourself are take some deep breaths. Talk to an adult that you trust. Take small steps to doing something. Also, know that it is perfectly natural and okay to be worried and nervous about things. Remember, self-talk, what you tell your brain can help. Like, I can do this, 
or it will be okay. Feeling frustrated can put you in the yellow zone, like if you're struggling reading a book, or you mess up playing a sport or trying something new. If you're learning a new instrument and you just can't get the keys right, you might feel frustrated or someone won't leave you alone and they just keep bothering you. If you have some friends that won't let you play with them, that would be frustrating. Or your parents won't get off the phone, that would be frustrating. Some ways to regulate yourself are take some deep breaths or talk to a trusted adult about what is going on. Taking a break and going on a walk or a hike can really help. Also, knowing that it takes time to get good at something is really helpful. Lastly, remember that positive self-talk can really help, like I can do this or it will be okay. There are many ways that you can regulate yourself when you are in the yellow zone. You will have to find out what works best for you and then you'll be able to get back to the green zone. Next up, the blue zone. What can put us in the blue zone? And strategies to help us get back to the green zone.